Should we move on to the harp guitar? Yeah, for sure. Now who, or like I should say, who built this instrument and what gave you the idea to kind of take this on? Because it's not like you don't have any enough, you know, enough already going on. I know. I know. I, I, love, I love adding stuff. So yeah, Timberline Guitars built this. Um, and they actually kind of sell kind of stock harp guitars, which is really cool. I don't know another company who sells harp guitars that you can mm. just buy. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Cool. Um, this thing is, I, I really, I never thought I'd get one of these because I just thought it was too much. It just looked like too much and it just, I just, yeah. But I played it at NAMM last year and I really loved it. This is actually a parlor size harp guitar, so it's smaller yeah. than a regular one. A regular one, I think, extends to like here, um, which I cannot play. <laughs> so <laughs> I bought the parlor size, and it's um, really cool. It has two pickups in it, two K&Ks, one for the bass side, one for the treble side, um, six sub bass strings. Um, I have them tuned. I have those tuned to a G scale, okay. basically. And yeah, I really, uh, I'm get, it's taken me a year to kind of get around to figuring out kind of how to play this. I don't play this, I don't think, correctly. Really, you're supposed to kind of like, kind of alternate between the two sets of strings with your picking hand. I cannot do that. <laughs> so <laughs> what I typically do is, uh, I kind of use my left hand to play mm -hmm. the sub bass strings and kind of reach over like this and kind of bring it back, which is probably harder. On half harder. of all guitardom, I don't want, I want to speak for us and say that whatever you're doing isn't wrong, it's right. Like, you know, don't, don't feel like you're doing anything <laughs> wrong at any point. That's the whole thing about guitar. You do what you want. I mean, yeah, you can't, yeah, I agree. You can't play guitar wrong, but I mean, I, I don't see anybody else really doing that. So I just assumed it was just not logical or not <laughs> efficient <laughs> um, but I mean you can also play it uh, in a, a lap tapping uh... actually I don't need to retune that you can kind of play it in a lap tapping uh, way Uh, you can do that, which mm -hmm. I prefer um, because I can kind of use this hand for bass and this hand for treble or melody or whatever I'm playing. Um, hopefully yeah. that makes sense. But yeah, there's a lot of ways you can, it's really cool, the added um, sub bass strings. It just gives you kind of a new world to experiment in and just playing bass and... It's really cool to do it at the same time and to kind of have clear, sometimes double yeah. melodies too. So yeah, um, I enjoy this instrument a lot. Will you go on tour when, uh, you know, when that returns and that reality happens again, will you, will you take it with you? Yeah, for sure. I'm writing um, new songs on it, so I kind of have to take it with me at this point. I kind of don't want to because I already have like a pedal board and then two other guitars and all this. <sighs> but I mean, <laughs> I, I, I'll take it with me. I mean, I do enjoy playing it. So yeah, it's coming with me. I guess I'll just have like, I'll either knock a guitar out or just have three. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> like it's just kind of the, the plight of a guitar player is just more and more. Exactly. It's just the life of, life of a musician, really.